Lady team, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to some more Vagris. So, we're continuing along. Sorry, it was a couple of days since the last episode, but let's pick back up. Um, so we're at Torzag Shelter, to sort of summarize. We also have these uh, passengers that we're going to take to, I believe it was called Arken. Let's check the map. Here, this is where we're going. Nice. Yes, and with, I'm contemplating, I'm seriously contemplating straight lining it over land, just giving it a bloody go. Um, we've also got Ivory on board that we're taking, I think it's for a faction offer, if I recall. I'm leaving a slot empty because you never know, we could pick up some stuff along the way. We should probably explore this city a bit as well, that's something I keep sort of brushing over by accident, I don't mean to. Um, I think there was some commentators that were saying, that you can potentially sort of scavenge for food and that off the main road and you get better results, which that kind of makes sense, I suppose. Um, and potentially, I suppose, you can you can rest in place and not travel for a day. Okay, sure, I suppose, depending on the, the food and supplies and, you know, sort of just take a de day to recoup. Um, not really things that I thought about because, you know, I like pedal to the metal mentality. Anyway, what can we do here? Um, let's explore the city. You never know what you'll find. Forever in the twilight of the gigantic cavern and lit sparingly by huge la iron lamps, Torzag's shelter is a bustling city of many opportunities and perils. One can find all sorts of interesting things if one looks. Go for a stroll and see what you can find. Walking the city's streets, you come upon public sacrifices performed by temple novices and a handful of priests on a grand plaza. The offerings of food and blood burn in great braziers under the cavernous roof of the dark city. Citizens can pray, but also offer a sacrifice of their own to the triumvirate. Sometimes priests bless people who do so. Offer a sacrifice, offer a great sacrifice, Pray to the dark gods or the emp- oh, I'll offer up a- what's this? Goods. Supply 10 goods? Supply 100 goods. Let's let's put a little little baby sacrifice in. Your sacrifice is accepted by the- and the priests chant a blessing. You feel the power of the gods, even if for a short while. Oh, lovely. Oh, got some vigor. Forever in the twilight. No, no, we already did that. Not, not today, perhaps tomorrow. Let's leave a little bit of this place unknown. Remember, this has still got to be watchable, all right? Don't neckbeard too hard, boys. If I sit here and just read all the options for half an hour for one spot, that's just, that's normal people don't rate that. Okay, so let's go. Let's go. I think it's time to step off. We don't need to refurb that tin supplies. You trudge toward the city gates. You arrive at the ga gatehouse. No, no, no. Guards talk briefly and your commentator moves through. Uh, and I've already paid the gate tax. Okay. Oh, shit. Maybe we aren't going straight. Um, okay. So so we got this nonsense. And then what is this? What is that? That's fascinating. Oh, you can see it on the map. Orc scar. Doesn't sound good. Are there orcs in this game? Let's bloody find out, eh? Oh, look, I think we've got to get that far at the very least, so let's start with that. Toop, 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 toop. Off we go. Now, if that's Orc Scar there, straight north is not exactly what we want, so maybe we... How far can I get? Yeah, let's go to here. Oh, what's this? Escort for the Church of Sergeron. Even though you are, have expected an attack because of your wards, the adversary appears suddenly and the attack is imminent. Oh no! Spears raise, hoofs shake the earth, and the Kalrish ride to battle. All right, it's bloody on, boys. Let's go. In crew combat encounters. Your whole commentators fights the enemy. Uh, oh, I, don't, I haven't seen this. I, I didn't realize you could fight as a crew. This sort of makes me think of uh, 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 the the ba Banner Saga. Banner Saga. <laughs> I had about 10 different names of games with the word Banner in my head. Yeah, Banner Saga had two types of combat. Um, your whole Comptatus fights either to protect themselves or when you happen upon another group and you decide to pick a fight with. You can see the combat strength and defense of your crew and the enemy. 
These describe your crew's ability to perform attacks and defend themselves respectively. Purple icons indicate magical attacks and defense. The side that initiated combat is the attacker, indicated by the fist. Click on fight, flee, sack, or move on. Okay. So these are these wanderers. And they've got a couple of dudes here. Fight, high chance of success. Well, if you say so. You need to select a goal for the fight. Your options are often limited based on the type of enemy that you are fighting and the circumstance. I like this so much better than the sort of turn base that, that that interface with the hero movement that's almost darkest dungeony but not quite i didn't think it was that strong this sort of this sort of combat actually appeals to me much more in this particular game um your options are often limited based on the type of enemy you're fighting the circumstances you met them under when you're ambushed your options are severely diminished right um available targets or loot are listed right below the gold options oh okay you can ch okay. You can change your goal after each. Save the beasts. Warded. What does warded mean? I guess ward makes it invincible. Um. Save the cargo. Save the crew. Hold the line. Defend equally. So it wards everybody. Well, hang on. 490 supplies, 40 ivory. So I can choose to ward everything. Or I can choose to only... Okay, so... I have to wonder if... If not... Like, surely this cripples my fighting capacity if I ward everything. Let's let's do that. We'll defend equally. It said we had a high chance of success anyway, so I need to learn this, right? Defend equally. Oh, what is this? Okay. Crew combat typically lasts for three rounds, during which you need to manage uh, who of your crew fights and who does not, as well as increase your chances of success. Each round, you roll to see how successfully you attack and defend. Chances of success and failure... Um, can be seen in the middle. Okay. Uh, if the enemy successfully flees or cheats, you can choose to pursue them. Oh, okay. Enemy can do the same if we withdraw. Additionally, if it is not wiped out at the end of the third round, your crew, if not in a hurry, has a chance to save the wounded by healing them. Uh -huh. During the battle, you can see your units left and the enemy units right. Yeah, I see that. You can click on your group of units, add them or exclude them from the fight. You commit. The selected units add their combat strength defense to the total, but have a chance to be wounded or killed. Workers and slaves become mortally wounded after a single hit, while other combatants become wounded first. Workers and slaves. Okay, so the warriors get wounds. Severely wounded companions and mortally wounded crew cannot fight, while wounded crew grants a lower combat strength. Ah, including passengers and or arming slaves is an option. But these have consequences like losing morale and obedience. Many factors have impact on combat strength. Oh, okay. This is so good. Okay. So 10-4. Okay. And then we've got the statistics. Your attributes defending equally. I like, so I can change that. Okay. What does what changing that do though? Save the beasts. Defend equally. Okay. Combat strength. Player damage. 71. All right. What's going on here? What? You have a four. I have a four. Um, actions. Oh, shit. Okay. There's a lot going on here. You can enter companion combat against a fraction of the foe force. Oh, that's cool. Well, I don't have any companions. Command. Okay. These are my passengers. Oh, what's this? Oh, shit. Create an outrider. Oopsies. No more outriders to dismount. Wait, what was that? Oh, no. Okay, I understand. What are... It changes my 74. Oh, okay. 
Oh, and you okay, you turn them on and off. Oh and there's their stats over there. 50 and 14. Alright. Alright. What are you what are you? Workers. So I can put you in the fray? No. No, my soldiers are doing a lot of work there. Do we have to risk the scouts? Let's not. 55 and 50, 14, 11. Maybe we do risk the scouts. Bugger it. Let's, okay, that's fine. Let's do this. Fight enemy in a bloody battle. Yeah, look at them all shaking. Oh, my dudes are getting stabbed. Oh, so they go into wounded state. Ah. Oh, all right. We, oh, dude, we fucked up one of them. Is that it? Only one? Oh, they're down to 23. We must have killed a few, surely. Okay. Okay. Pursue or stand down? What do you reckon? Can I, like, take them out of the, the injured dudes out of the equation? I can. Yeah, let's pursue. Let's pursue that. Oh, yeah! Nice. We killed some dudes or some shit. Okay, cool. Cool. I don't think any... All my scouts got injured, but they didn't die. I don't think I lost a man. That's sick. All right, let's go. I like how the dudes shake when they fight. <laughs> That's cute. It's it's a cute little animation. Um, okay, your crew tends to the wounded in the heal phase, rolling for the recovery of each unit one by one. Severely wounded, wounded units can only be healed with a critical success. Every healing attempt has a chance to consume a medical kit. Uh, uh, do I have medical kits? I don't know. Uh, the heal uh, perk of companions or the Vagris, as well as certain gear and other sources, can increase the chance to heal units. Ah. Oh take additional time to heal or oh, okay okay right well i've got no movement points do i like give them time i don't think i have time spend two mp costs no mp if you are already camping we'll give them time give them time even though i have no time Okay, heal. Oh, what? Oh, they die! Oh, shit. Victor are defeated determined based on a number of factors. Success and critical success in rounds earn one or two victory points respectively. Oh, no. I shouldn't have pursued them. I thought that they'd recover. Additionally, attackers gather points for succeeding, fulfilling their goal. Defenders get points. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, okay. Side with more victory points in the end wins. Post-victory six sequence involves looting. Okay. Click to move on. Oh, no. Let's get rid of this. Oh, no. Attacker disengage. Valuables detective detected. Oh, no. We lost a few dudes there. That's no good at all. Well, we got a common jewel. Victory is yours. And for now, you have managed to defend your wards. Wonderful. All right, let's camp. Oh, that's not good, man. I've got no scouts left. No scouts and we're heading into this unknown territory. We'll pay now. Pay now. Let's not be stingy. Vigor. Oh, it's not great. Fatigued. Oh, I don't have enough fighters to... Oh my goodness. This this overland shortcut might not be such a sensible move after all. all right, and that's gonna use vigor to, to search for food. Oh no. No. We need to commit eight days of food because so many dudes have bloody died. Oh, excuse me, quick sneeze. Um Well fed, keen, that's cool. Vigor. Oh, no. Crew change. Okay, end day. Let's go. Now, what are we going to do here? Fresh. We need... Now, if I were to camp right here... Oh, okay. The vigor goes right up.
and I can hunt and forage at minus two move, but who cares, right? Because I'm not using the move. Pay now. Nourished. We'll eat a little bit extra because we've got more food. Let's do that. Fail, but no one got hurt. Okay. That's well, that's good. We've got our numbers back up. I'm just a little bit worried about food. Now, we could usually do that in like four days, three or four days. So we could maybe do that in four days overland. Like, you know, that looks more like three, but it might be tough moving, right? What do you reckon we just zip straight through here? Seven move. Eight move. What about... Uh, Let's do that. Here we go. We're going off the bloody beaten path, boys. Scouting. I don't know if I can even scout, right? Available scouts, zero. All right, so I might actually have to learn how to scout properly. That's fine. When I have scouts. Energetic, feeling pretty good. Everyone's feeling really good. Minus one vigor to search for food. Minus one vigor, lower chance of ambush. We might go for that actually. We'll strain the guard because I just, I don't really want to get jumped out here, you know? I'm, what I'm doing is dangerous. All right, okay, okay, okay. So if we could list a little bit to the west, that'd be like, that's, I'd love to get over there. Nine. Six. Okay, yeah, that'll give us some extra movement as well. Okay, here we go. We're bloody going for it. We're bloody going for it. Okay, so I'll take this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just go normal posted guards. Morale is good. Nutrition is sustained for the moment. Okay, got a little bit of food, even though a fail state. Okay, that's cool. Huh. We've got fives there. Let's go. All right. Morale is doing all right, though. Um, let's feed the boys. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Let's go. A little bit of food. Two days. There's Arkham there. What's this? A three? Three, six, eight. We could do this in two days. Let's go. Easy. Easy. Well, look at this. Crystal stuff. That's cool. Um... Yeah, we're really good. Let's feed them. Feed them. Don't want to get jumped. Arkin. Here we go. What a journey. Here we go. Arkin Town. Oh, look at that. A lot of pillars and that looks very pretty. Nestled beneath the thicket of rock pillars called the Arkaros Forest, the Imperial town of Arkan is constantly beaten by the wind and engulfed in fine dust from the jagged waste. However, unforg well, however unforgivable though its surroundings are, the settlement's inhabitants thrive thanks to the Earth's abundant bounty, marble, limestone, granite and shale. Artists and artisans carve their precious stones in their workshops and warehouses ceaselessly behind the town's silt-laden walls under the watchful eyes of the Praetor. Oh, that's cool. Well, let's attend to business first. Let's see. Faction offers. Um, hang on. Hang on. Factions. Escort the Church Sergorod. Turn in. Distribute. 
turn in. Yeah, 44 bucks. Nice. Though there were losses. There were losses on the way. Let's see. Look, first things first is to buy a stack of these. All right. Um, equipment. Faction offers. Equipment. Oh, look at this. It's all sorts of cool stuff. Protected harness. We've already got extra storage, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Minus 10 consumption for the beasts of bird. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Um, crew. Uh, crew. We don't have the debuff, actually, for the lost fighters, which is good. Rumors. Jewelry shop somewhere in Devon. Oh, whatever. I'll buy the rumor. I love, I love buying rumors. Passengers. Shipment of slaves to Lumen and Crystal. Let's get the trade news as well. Crystal Lumen. What do you reckon? Let's have a look here. There's Devon. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where this place is. Is there a search com uh, tool? I might be looking straight at it and I don't even realize. Okay. Let's maybe... How much are you offering? One and two silver bits, which is pretty good. But it's not the end of the world. Um, let's hire a scout. And we'll probably hire a fighter as well. We'll just just gently, gently, ever so gently get the get us back on track. Um, I kind of feel like getting in the habit of doing a. Have I got no sorted? That's better. <sighs> Trying to like do a back and forth as I as I discover new places sounds pretty sensible to me, right? Difference. Ultimately, I wanted green in the cell, right? Like this. Jeez, what is going on there? Bronze? Buy for three, six. Oh, well, that's, that's not that great, is it? We don't want to go to the Twin Towers if we can help it. I'm going to ignore that column. Chitin. Yeah, I kind of wish this system was a little bit easier to understand. Coal. Hmm. I might just have to eyeball everything individually on this, you know. Probably we'd want to go to Torzag if we're going to go anywhere back. Three, one, three, zero. Oh, yeah. Thirty, two... Two, six, seven. Wow, actually, there doesn't seem to be a... Oh, here we go. Marble? Well, that makes sense, given where we are. We Jesus, carry a whole shitload of marble. That doesn't sound really good for my animals. Jade? No. Ivory? No, no. Iron? Um... So marble might be the geo. Yeah, I think we uh I think we pick up some marble, hey? If we go back to Torzag, which we probably like or we go somewhere totally new. It's one or the other. Um What's going on with the uh So passengers Lumen and Crystal like I don't oh oh you can click on it and it shows you where fuck yes okay so yeah yeah I like set I like the idea of setting this triangle up I do like that what do our rumors tell us
about men in black armor sneaking around to Therian's Fall. No. Jewelry shop in Devon. No, we covered that. People talk about a workshop under Torzag Shelter. Oh, okay. I should check that out when I go back to Torzag. Gates are closed. Changing the winds. Hmm. News? Okay. Now, I mean, I want to buy a beast at some point, don't I? Like, really just up my trade game. But at the moment, we're not really trading big enough volume. Like, 25 bucks, that'll clean me out, right? How about for, for a lizard? 32 bucks for a lizard man. That will absolutely sit me down. I feel like we've got to, we've got to stay liquid a bit. We've got to stay liquid a bit. In fact, I almost feel like, as I say this out loud, this is justification to get my crew back up. And then how many fighters did I lose? I know I lost four scouts. Wait, why does it say four in brackets? Right, because I can buy four. You know what? Let's just let's just get back up to speed. I feel like I lost three fighters. And I already got two. Okay, that's fine. Right? So that's sort of back that's replenished, essentially. Um Outriders Mounts, Beast of Burden. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, well, let's not make any other big investments just yet. What if we go... What we might do is just zip back to Torzag. We'll take a whole bloody butt ton of marble. All right, let's take some marble. God, how much for a, a, a stack of that shift? Oh, that's not so bad. It's fucking heavy, though. Look at that. Um... Five days. Wait. What are we short here? 2,500, 175, right? Oh, oh, here we go. If you click on the thing, that's, that's good. What's that? Seven days? Laughing. Laughing. So maybe... Because what we were at, like, 35-ish, you know, maybe up to 38. And if we stack marble, let's see what, um, if there's any faction orders going. Oh, fuck, that's something I should have checked straight away, actually. Uh, Avernum. Near Crystal. Torzag. Is that where I'm going? Torzag? I'm, I'm going insane. It, it is Torzag. Okay, that's promising. Procure goods. Deliver 16 marble to Torzag Shelter. And that's two slots. That's pretty perfect. Rewards, eight. And I'll bring my own stack as well. No, I can't. I can't take that. Here we go. Escort for the church's Sergorod. Faction opponents. Encounter difficulty. We might get jumped again. Passengers to deliver. Doesn't have a cargo space. Fuck it. We'll do it again. Let's do it again. That route works for us. We'll take the, 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 the dude on. And we're going to deliver marble. Perfect. 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 31 bucks. Okay. All right. What we might do. Beasts. See, now, what's the point of a loose mount? I don't understand what this does. Movement points, 12. Mount. Workforce, food. Combat strength. Like, the, the, the cargo slots that I have... Plus 7 beast cargo. Alright, explain to me beast cargo, game. Where is that statistic? This cargo. Oh. Oh. Right. And that adds cargo. The mounts add cargo. Okay. Okay. Right. So if you if I cross a threshold, I'll generate another stack essentially. Ah, ah, okay. Well, look, we're going to buy a, a horse. I want to see what happens. 100 out of 109. 
116, but no new stack, right? But that just adds seven cargo, extra storage. All right, okay. And I'll actually hire, I'll, I'll create an outrider. Boom. All right, so that slightly reduces the cargo as well. Ah, oh, shit. Hang on. Yeah, okay. Look at that. It's cool. All right, so I only have the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we might just sort of slowly edge up to another cargo stack by creating more horses and just mounting and dismounting them as outriders, right? Yeah, that's about 10 cargo or something. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. All right, we've got seven days of food. We're good. Um, I can save manually. Okay, cool. Right, so we're set up. So we're going to go back down to Torzag. We'll explore. Apparently, there's an alchemist place there somewhere. That's cool. We'll take the risky southern pass. We've recovered. We've Recovered our losses in men, and we've created a bunch of outriders. So that should help us. You know, we'll punch a little bit harder. Probably try and rest up, though our, our situation's looking pretty bloody good at the moment. So, before I forget. Nice. I'm getting into the rhythm of this. It's good. It's a slow burn. I'm glad people are enjoying it. Not every game's just non-stop action. But, um... But what this is, this is a blast. Alright team, thanks again for joining me. Might just leave it there for the time being and I'll catch you guys on the next one.